We're in the throes of Drive Electric Week, a time to learn more about what it takes to go electric. Our Sophia Thomas joins us live in South Burlington with just how many Vermonters are opting for the switch. Sophia, what can you tell us? Well, listen, John, whether it's the grocery store, post office, or South Burlington Public Library behind me, we don't really bat an eye at EV charging stations like this one because there are so many EVs around us. But still, experts tell me we need more on the road to meet state EV adoption goals. Before a dotted line or even a test drive, many prospective EV drivers turn to Drive Electric Vermont's David Roberts for advice. Will it work for me in winter? You know, is the range going to be enough? And generally the answer is yes. Roberts says more models fit for Vermont mud and snow seasons have hit the market in recent years, giving more drivers the EV green light. We're seeing more availability and so it's great that more people are able to make the switch. According to Drive Electric Vermont, the state has over 15,000 electric vehicles. That's a nearly 50% increase from 2023. Still, despite the jump, Patrick Murphy with the Agency of Transportation says we'll need to do more to meet the goals laid out in the Climate Action Plan. 27,000 EVs by 2025 and 126,000 by 2030. We're, we're making good progress, but we're still not there and we know we have quite a bit to do. Murphy believes continued funding for popular state incentive programs is essential to meeting our EV goals, but he estimates the $18 million appropriated in 2022 and meant to last until 2025 will dry up by the calendar year's end. He says it's a double-edged sword. Vermonters are opting into EVs, but millions more dollars are needed to keep up the momentum. Funding is, is, is needed. To, to make sure that the transition to electric vehicles doesn't leave anybody behind. Because we do know that uh, these vehicles cost more uh, on average and um, a key piece of being able to make this affordable for Vermonters is, is providing these incentive programs. While the state looks for solutions, you can learn more about EVs this Drive Electric Week at an event on the State House lawn tomorrow and a ride and drive in Stowe next Tuesday. Live in South Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 This Morning.